hello guys welcome back so now in this section we are going to implement the VPN get API or you can say the free VPN API so for that purpose let's create a new folder first so right click on lib new directory and we will give it name as API VPN get API VPN get now right click on API VPN get new dot file let's give it name as api vpn get so api underscore vpn underscore get dot dot file is created you can say class api vpn get And the first thing that we will do is basically to retrieve all VPN servers, all free servers which are available. So we can say static future list VPN info. As I told you, all available VPN servers we have to retrieve so we can say retrieve or you can say get VPN servers or you can say retrieve all available retrieve all available VPN servers which are basically freely available okay so I will give it a proper name which is retrieve all available free VPN servers and it will be asynchronous let create a list initialize a list to which we will add the servers which we will get from the API try catch block if any exception occur that is any error so you can say exception or you can say error message so in case of any error we will display the dialog the snack bar so we can say get dot first make sure to import get get dot dot as you can see then we can say snack bar the title will be error occurred and the message will be whatever the exception error message we get as a response we will display that message there are also some other properties for a snack bar other than the title and message and that is basically let's say if you want to apply change the color text so for example I will go with uh, colors dot white and background color as it is an error message so we will change the background color to colors dot red ascent with opacity 0.8 now this is the case if any error occur okay if any exception occur however if everything goes successfully I mean the try code as we are going to send a request to the app, VPN get API in order to retrieve the uh, all available free VPN servers so for that purpose we will we will need to add a HTTP uh, dependency in our project so what you need to do go to the pub.dev side and simply search for HTTP which is this one HTTP as you can see for making HTTP requests so click on installing and we will copy this and then here in the pubspec.yml here we can add our HTTP dependency then simply click on pub get 
So HTTP has been installed. Now come back here to the API VPN GET and first of all we will import here the HTTP HTTP dot dot as HTTP and what we can do is we can now simply say wet HTTP dot get and here we have to provide our URL so we can say URI dot parse and then in here inside the double quotes add HTTP colon slash slash www dot vpn get dot net slash API slash iPhone slash so this will basically you can say send the request now we will assign this to response from API now this response from API comes in CSV format now what is CSV basically uh, comma separated values CSV simply means that okay so it is a popular format used primarily for data transfer as you know we will receive bytes byte in byte out which is upload download speed and also the ping and all this information when we connect to any VPN server to which the user connects successfully okay so we will receive the response so basically it is used primarily for data transfer in various application and programs and in a CSV file each line is a data record each record consists of few fields separated by commas so in simple words you can say that it contains some special characters so we have to uh, split uh, for example it contain hash signs so we have to split the hash sign and replace it with static empty uh, string so we can simply say here that is final and let's give it name as comma separated values string comma separated value string and we can say a response from api dot body dot split so as I told you split the hash at index 1 dot replaced all static with an empty string now after it can initialize list which will be list dynamic we can give it name as list data CS we need to add here another dependency and that is basically the CSV this one okay CSV open it up installing and just copy this dependency and come back to your project pubspec.yml CSV click pub get in order to install it so it installed successfully and now we can say csv to list converter so we are converting the csv to list dot convert and what we are converting we are converting comma separated value string to we are converting CSV to list which is assigned to this list data final header and we will assign list data which is at the zeroth index then we will run for loop integer counter equals to 1 initialize it with 1 
and this counter will this for loop will execute according to this condition that is it is less less than the list data dot length minus one counter plus plus according to the length of this list data it will execute and then we will have inner loop so basically it will become a nested loop for loop okay so the inner loop let me just copy this and change this value to counter inner counter okay so this inner loop will run according to this condition until unless it stand false this for loop inner for loop will execute make sure to change this okay inner counter variable it is so it we will initialize it with zero and it will be less than header dot length remove this minus one from it okay so the condition make sure that inner counter is starting from zero and the condition is that is inner counter must be less than up to I mean the header dot length inner counter is less than header dot length this for inner for loop will execute until unless this condition stand false now above this inner loop let's add here initialize here a map type string dynamic and we can give it name as JSON data so inside the inner loop we can say JSON data dot add all add curly braces and inside this curly braces we can say header inner counter dot to string colon the value of which is inside list data counter inner counter after the inner for loop you can say vpn server list dot add it is one by one we will start adding the server data which we are receiving from the api which is in normal format now so we can say vpn info dot from json with the help of our vpn info model class we are getting the values from json as you know that we are assigning to its variables using which we can access it anywhere we want then of course on our uh, country screen which we will implement where we will display all the available uh, VPN servers from which the user can then select and collect to any server the user want so anyways we can say VPN info dot from JSON and the values is inside the JSON data so this is all about our try block where we get all available servers and we add it to our this VPN server list now after the catch block we can say VPN server list dot shuffle if VPN server list dot is not empty if it is not empty then using the f references f references dot vpn list as you know that there we have a vpn list to that we will assign our vpn server list that is 
all available servers which is coming all the way from the OpenGET API as a response that uh, all servers all available servers data we assign to our f references dot vpn list which is basically we saved uh, to the local storage so in case you can say that we saved this that is we have now all available servers okay and we have access to it with the help of our this uh, VPN list so now whenever we need it we will just get it from our VPN this VPN list okay so we have access to it now so anyways now what we can do we can simply say return VPN server list so in this method what we done here is that we get all available VPN servers from the open get VPI uh, API so we get all the servers and we assign that VPN server list to our VPN list that is this available servers VPN servers we can access with the help of our f references dot VPN list which is basically a list okay so anyways that is we save it to the local storage using this key name using hive you already know that so anyways now what we can do is